my friend, his wife is a school teacher and she works at a school that had to install a litter box in the girls room because there is a girl who's a furry oh who identifies goodness. as an animal and her mother badgered the school until they agreed to put a litter box in one of the stalls. The great furry war of 2020, or the 2020s, I should say, uh, started as a fake rumor, a hoax. It was a practical joke, a prank on some of these hysterical mothers who would attend school board meetings and freak out about all sorts of imaginary things that were going on within said public schools. But that rumor has nonetheless spread all the way from crazy school board moms to state politicians and political candidates to sitting members of Congress. This is where we're at, folks, this is where we're at. Now, I just wanna do a quick side note about Joe Rogan and his friends. Remember, Joe Rogan is surrounded by all sorts of right wingers at this point. And so I don't believe his friend's wife in this argument that there are litter boxes on public school campuses. I don't believe it, I just don't. Yeah, no, no let me be clear, it has approximately a 0% chance of being true. So, okay, show us the litter box in the school, show us the kid in the school in a cat outfit. You're not gonna be able to do it because you're, your friend's lying. So look, this is the first time I ever felt bad for Rogan. Because it's- No, don't, don't feel bad for him. I, I got you, but- Like it, at but, some point, stop being so unbelievably gullible, right? But that's my Apparently, point. Apparently, Rogan will believe anything you tell him. 100%, that's he's, it. Like, he's like Burgundy with the prompter, except it's just a right winger. Uh, Rogan will believe anything a right winger tells him, anything. Okay, do you know what San Diego actually means? All right, no, seriously, uh, like my sister uh, is in New Jersey. She talks to someone she knows, perfectly normal, rational person apparently. And uh, she says, oh, I'll pull my kids out of school, why? Because the teachers are all trying to get them to change genders. Just give Rogan a week or two and he'll just, he'll repeat the same thing. He'll because say. one of his conservative friends told him that. Yeah. And it must be true, it must be true. They don't have money for books. They don't have money for books. Conservative political action committees, okay, moneyed interests who have a financial interest in completely dismantling and destroying public schools in this country are succeeding. The way that they succeed with every other policy, right? At the heart of what they want is tax cuts. And for them, we gotta save some money with these you know, property taxes or however public education is funded wherever they live. And a great way to do that is to destroy public schools. No more public schools, that is their number one goal. And the way they're gonna accomplish that as they've accomplished other economic goals of theirs and disgusting greed of theirs is through culture wars, made up culture wars, manufactured culture wars, in this case, I just love it, furries, right? Schools that don't have enough funding for basic supplies are now allegedly, just think about this. I wanted to just, I love pot, I do. Lay off the pot for one moment and just think about the mechanics of this. I really want them to think about this. Think about it, Joe, think about it. Underfunded schools are spending their limited resources on litter boxes. And then what, are they paying someone? to clean the litter box? Like is there a salaried employee within this school who has a specific job to clean said litter box that these students are allegedly taking a leak in? Is that what is that what's happening? And then where would the litter boxes be exactly? Would they be in a stall? Is there enough room in a stall for a litter box? Would they put the litter box on the floor? We know what the stalls look like in the school bathrooms, right? If they put it on the floor and someone is you know, squatting down to take a leak in a litter box, you would see everything, all the kibbles and bits. So like, <laughs> how, how exactly does this work? Has anyone explained that to you? Yeah. No, it's mental, absolutely lunatic nonsense. Yeah. And he's just, my friend told me, my friend told me. Yeah. Yeah, okay, my friend told me. But I'm not even done, there's more to this. Okay, so the can clip I, was I? from, t no, you can't. The clip was from <laughs> Tuesday's episode of his show. Uh, ironically enough, Rogan went on to point out how absurd his story is, but apparently he still believes it. Because even if it's impossible, even if it sounds outlandish, still his friend told him, so it must be true. <laughs> Imagine how crazy that is, you're a human being and you prefer a litter box, you wanna 
into a, a pile of sand yeah. rather than use a bathroom yeah. that you could flush the toilet, wipe yourself <laughs> like a normal person. Like you're so crazy with uh. what you think an animal is. Yeah, yeah, it's it is crazy because uh, it's it's not happening within the context of public schools. In fact, every time a public school district or a specific school is accused of doing this, it's embarrassing because the administrators literally have to come out with a statement to say, "No, we did not do this. This is a lie. We can't believe we live in this country that has actual major public figures and politicians claim that we have installed litter boxes within the school bathrooms." What is wrong with you, Joe? What happened to you? Yeah. What happened? Yeah. What happened? You have a Republican gubernatorial candidate in Colorado who's going around taking pictures of minors that she suspects of being furries <laughs> because she's a weirdo. Absolute weirdo, absolute lunatic. And I never thought I would see the day where I would lump Joe Rogan in with that group. But here we are, here we are, because everything has devolved in America. So her name is Heidi Ganahl, and she's a freak. She's an absolute weirdo. I talked about her on the show before. Uh, Kyle Clark, a reporter, had written on Twitter today Heidi Ganahl confirmed to KNUS host uh, George Rauchler that her campaign is collecting and distributing photos of children. They believe are identifying as animals. We provided pictures, but we blurred out the faces, Ganahl said. They're creeps, absolute creeps. So, uh, man, these guys are gonna go nuts on Halloween. You're gonna be like, we found them! And some of the children now believe they're zombies. And some of them are even vampires. What have we done? Okay. And and Rogan will believe every one of them. Look, can you believe it? Some of the kids are turning into vampires. Some one of them had was wrapped like a mummy. He's a child. They just want to dismantle public schools and you'll be fine. Your privileged children will be able to go to whatever private school you can obviously, honestly, and, and easily afford. Everyone else is screwed. All those moms, all those conservative moms who are being duped into believing this garbage are playing the part that will dismantle and destroy public education for everyone else who can't afford private schools. That's what the end goal is. So congratulations for aiding and abetting that disgusting movement that again stems from moneyed interests who just don't wanna pay their taxes. So if you're wondering, wait, you guys are calling him crazy. He says you guys are crazy, how do we know who's right? So you go to the school districts, the school districts put out a statement every time this happens, says this is nuts. Now normally school districts are very careful, right? And they put out careful things, but a lot of the school districts are like, what on God's green earth are you guys talking about? None of this was remotely true, no one's ever presented one piece of evidence that it's true. Never, not once. Every school district says the same thing because it isn't true. And the people who say it is true have never, ever, ever proved one case of it, right? But the Verog is a child, he's like the most gullible person on earth. And he would say like, "Oh, you say my friend's a liar? <laughs> yes, of course I'm saying that. If look, if the right wingers talking to me these days, I assume they're either lying or they're knuckleheads. Yeah. Okay. And if you don't know that right wingers might not be connected to reality, welcome to America, Joe. Have you met Donald Trump? Have you met every Donald Trump supporter that believes every stupid lie he says? Have you not noticed anything in America? Trump says, oh, yeah, I took the classified documents and I thought in my head. That they're declassified, no, and then you got just, robots. Every right wing declassified in the head, and Rogan's like, I believe it. I believe it. Yeah, they saying declassified in the head. It makes sense. Okay, right? I got one last thing, but go ahead. This is who he's lumping himself in with. These are the people you're lumping yourself in with. So here they are. Enjoy the party. Congratulations. It was addressed by a child a couple months ago that they are put in an environment where there are kids that are that identify as a furry, a cat or a dog, whatever. And so yesterday I heard that at least one of our schools in our town has a in one of the unisex bathrooms a litter box for the kids that identify as cats. We don't know what furries are. It's where school children dress up as animals, cats or dogs. And now schools are wanting to put litter boxes in the schools for these children to use. How is this sanitary? There's a school in Texas that someone identified, you ready for this, for a cat. And they made them put out a litter box. I thought it was something from the onion. 
absolutely true. Okay, if some student wants to pretend like a cat and use a litter box after school, that's their prerogative, whatever. But no, the school and the school resources and the other students and teachers should not have to be uh, put through that because it's a lie. A friend of mine in Illinois actually knows a teacher that comes to uh, school as a furry and wears ears and a tail and uses a litter box at the front of the classroom to relieve himself. <laughs> Only Rogan can believe that. At the front of the classroom, yes, the teacher, yes. The teacher yeah, takes out yeah, their genitals. Yeah, you know, totally. In yeah, the middle of the classroom. Takes down and uh, totally believable. I mean, yeah. a guy said it, a guy said it. So if a guy said it, it must be true. Yeah. Must and, be true. And, and by, by the way, the teacher not fired. Because because nobody would flip out over that or anything, right wing or left wing. Everybody would be like, oh, the teacher took out his genitals in the middle of class. No, no, not fired, not they, fired. Jake, they would totally believe it too. They, they would, would believe, totally believe every it. part it's of insane. it. insane. How do you not see that they're loons? They're total, so but now my final point is, who is he telling the story to? Tulsi Gabbard. Tulsi Gabbard, who's like, oh my God, I woke up today and decided that Republicans kick ass. You know what? Remember how I was pretending to be a progressive, diehard progressive? <laughs> no, I don't believe any of that anymore. All of a sudden, I hate wokeism. I hate progressives. The right wing's right about everything. Where's the check? Where's the check? And Rogan's like, oh, she's so honest. Come on my show. I found someone who's now right winger because she had a change of heart. <laughs> Yeah, 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 Rogan, go cry about it, okay? Idiot, really, come on, I'm sorry, I don't wanna say it, but how can you be that dumb? Show me, show me your stupid, dumbass friend, neighbor, whatever liar, and how they had the, the litter box in the school. You can't show it, because you can't tell that your friend's an obvious liar, it's so sad. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.